Yo, Michael Martinez here. <laughs> um, I want to start off this um, unorthodox album <laughs> by saying this is dedicated to all the Video Squid viewers and supporters. This would not exist if it wasn't for you. So, I blame you. <laughs> I had long ago given up music and everything having to do with it um, because, well, for a number of reasons that I won't go into right now because I just want to get into the first song, but um, you guys gave me a lot of encouragement, maybe a little too much, I don't know, <laughs> but it was just overwhelming and um, I thought, you know what, I've written so many songs, I just want to get them down, you know, just for archives you know if nothing more than that so i'm gonna do a little i'm gonna call it a demo album because i want it to be very clear to whoever comes across this this is a demo every track on here is a demo there's nothing polished about this um this is kind of just for record keeping just for you know finally putting it down so when i'm you know 85 years old i won't have trouble remembering it i can just play play it on soundcloud so Thank you, everyone who's been supportive. Um, and uh, this song is called "You Can Change My Mind." I can't really, <coughs> I can't really remember why I wrote this song. Um, I don't really like to talk. I don't. I really don't like to dissect um, songs for people. I they're very personal to me and I don't really like to tell everybody what every detail about them means because I kind of like to keep that but I like to give like little summaries at least and I can't remember why I wrote this song um m the one thing I can remember that just came back to me because I remember I tried to explain it to one person before was um this song to me was kind of reflecting on my very pessimistic outlook um and um those of you who really watch my videos i mean some of you might watch a couple of them here and there but those of you who really watch my videos know that i definitely believe in god and that i am a christian and uh i i just heard a bunch of people tune out right now <laughs> but um this was this song <clears throat> was my way of saying, you know what, I'm a very pessimistic person a lot of the time, very negative. And I don't do it on purpose, but that's just my my default. And I was, this song was my way of saying, but you know what, you can change that, God. You can give me a more positive outlook. You can make me nicer to people. You can make me everything that I need to be that I tend not to be on my own. So... That's what this song is about when you get down to it. <coughs> you can change my mind. <clears throat> Thank you. 
this is why it's a demo. <laughs> oh, now you know it's a demo. <laughs> this song is called The New Breed. Uh, a few years ago, I attended some events where uh, th there was like an outreach and a bunch of us were going out to these homeless encampments and these tent cities and, and things like that. And we were handing out food and, and stuff to people, clothes, things to drink. And um, we got to spend a lot of time with them and really learn a lot about them and how they got to be there. And it was unbelievable how just the simplest little things led to them being where they were and how it would be so very easy for any of us to end up in that same situation with just a handful of things happening in our lives. Just a few things not going right can lead to that. And it's very easy to just write them off and think, well, they must be this way. They must be that way. They must have done this or that. And maybe that's true in a lot of cases, but so what? You know, maybe they've made more obvious bad choices than some of us that haven't made the type of choices to lead to us being homeless. But we all make bad choices just about every day we've just been able to escape where these people ended up getting stuck. And um, it just made me open my eyes a little bit to um, things that I hadn't considered before and that I'd ignored before and kind of had my own feelings about before. And, and I was wrong in a lot of ways. And I wrote a song to kind of... Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when I think about it now... It could be a little pretentious, but this song was kind of my way of telling those around me, kind of in the same, you know, cut from the same cloth as me. Hey, you know, I was looking at this all wrong. I think we all might have been. Let's open our eyes and, and our hearts a little and let's let's see what's really going on here and see if we can help. So I'll leave that at that. So this song is called The New Breed. The birth pains are casting a spell on the world Even if they don't know And now everyone's looking for somewhere to go All with nothing but panic and fear in their minds While so quietly rising there lies a new kind of perspective and method of Planting the seed as we shed the traditional armor And we rise as the new breed It's been a while In the streets are the cries of the strung out and homeless who out in hope but they couldn't be shown less compassion from mockers and noses raised high as they sip on their coffee and quickly pass by and the needs of a million and more are not met as we keep occupied and we seem to forget that the love we can share is just what the world needs and the mild-mannered methods will shatter when we rise as the new breed. Protesting politically charged situations 
shout louder and who can hate more with their eyes open wide and their ears to the door and the hosts and the bloggers will water this weed but will cry in the name of a heart This song is called Like Some Drag. I wrote it one night after an argument with a girlfriend. Uh, it's okay. I ended up marrying her, so it worked out. But I was uh, sitting on the floor watching an episode of Roseanne um, sulking, and, and this is what came out. So you have to hear it now. <clears throat> Go to sleep right now, you disappoint me if you leave And no matter what I say, oh babe, I need you to believe The words that I whisper when I'm holding you near The feelings I express when you lend me your ear And everything I give you, girl, just keep it in your bag So hard to ignore the bitterness I'm feeling when the memories return. The hole in my heart from your 
more slow and steady burn And everything I fear You know the way it makes me gag So don't treat me like some drag This song is called Just Make Believe. I wrote it when my grandma passed away. I remember when I was a little kid, um, my dad was talking one time about how life is so weird and how he thinks about a lot of his friends, people that have passed away, relatives, and how when you think back sometimes you know decades ago it's like did that even happen it seems so far away it seems like it was another lifetime was that even real and even though i i kind of understood it i didn't really get it until i got older and um and started experiencing that loss myself um, not even just people passing away, but, you know, losing friends and stuff like that. And you think about when you were in fifth grade, high school, college even, and, and it's like, wow, you know, at, at that time, you know, I was the very best of friends with someone, or I had this relative or this person in my life, and now they're gone. Or even if they're not, you know, they're on the other side of the country or whatever, and it's like we're strangers, and and sometimes it's like, did we really ever have those moments? Did we really ever share those laughs? Did it really happen? It seems, it just seems make-believe now. It seems like a dream. It's so weird. And um, that was that was what was on my mind when I wrote this. My mind and more 
The song is called The Time Has Come, and I wrote this when uh, me and this band that I had been playing with for a while parted ways. Um, we were together for a little while, and we did some cool things, and I thought we were going to do a lot more cool stuff, and it didn't, it just didn't work out, just timelines and um, geography and, and different things. So when we parted ways and it was very clear that uh, things weren't going to move forward, I think this was kind of like my closure song. So um, that's what this is about. <clears throat> Just when I give up my reaction You gain your traction and move what you please And I'm willfully down on my knees Begging for the night time In my corner I'm looking for answers Dancers, but my chance is arriving. I'm diving into the unknown. People are moving with their passion beneath their fashion of forks in the road. To heed a calling they themselves have owed Finally obeying In frustration I think of regressing My deep-seated thoughts so depressing but my ride is approaching I'm coaching myself for to leave I see the truth through the glasses of my mind Behind the statues it's always hid behind Pontificating proudly At the end of the tunnel I'm grinning Preparing a brand Fate is waiting and stating the time has come. Ah, it's no fun picking through a whole song like that. Ah. This song is called Travel Light, and I can't remember what prompted me to write this, but... It's it's just flat out uh, summation of the book of Matthew. That's all it is. I don't know if this was my way of like trying to um, tell others, hey, I'm just human. I don't think I'm perfect. I don't think I'm all great and and flawless or anything. You know, I happen to believe in God, but that's just about the best thing about me. <laughs> and um, for the most part, I'm just like you. And I'm not crazy. I'm not your enemy. I'm I'm just another I'm just another human. 
and um, that's all I remember. <laughs> um, let me get this bag out of the way. Okay. dare you. There we go.
This song is called Naive Enough to Love Me, and I wrote it when not long after my son was born because I would I would look at this little person and and it's so strange when someone can so blindly love you no matter what you do all the time and you just have to appreciate that resilience cuz you're like don't you don't you realize you know what I did just a few hours ago, what I said 10 minutes ago, why are you so naive? Why, why, uh, why are you giving me this, this love that I don't deserve? And, and this song um, was just a little brief, tiny way of um, just packaging that feeling. <laughs> uh, naive enough to love me. <clears throat> This song is called I'll Be. The The reason this song exists is because I was determined to write a very, very simple, absolutely basic song because sometimes I overthink things and, and I get very wordy and I thought, you know what, I want to do something so opposite of that and just kind of challenge myself. Um, at the same time, it did still have kind of a, a concept and it it's pretty much someone that's saying to someone else, you know what, I I want to be everything for you and, and to you or nothing at all. You know, I'll, I'll go all the way to both extremes. It's, it's kind of unhealthy. <laughs> it's someone that doesn't know a happy medium, I guess. Um, you'll hear it.
This song is called Vanity of Vanities, and just like one of the other songs, it's just a summation of one of the Bible books. This is kind of my interpretation of Ecclesiastes, which is absolutely my favorite book. I think it's very, uh, the tone of it is very in line with like the way I think. Um, he's just very blunt and they're very to the point. Like, look, none of these things matter. All these things you're chasing. It's all useless. It's all going to go. All things must pass. You know, it's all vanity of vanities, all this foolishness under the sun. And I just love it. Um, so I, I wrote a song about it. That's, that's all there is to it. <laughs> What profit hath a man from all his labor which he taketh under the sun? Vanity of vanities Though all the rivers run into the sea, the sea is not yet full Commands, there is no other definition. 
passion for the duty of a man so govern your mouth for your eating your deep cutting words now retreating back into your heart slowly beating One step closer to your final meeting So enjoy what you may own Your food and drink, family and home For all your days remaining under the sun This song is called That's How They Get You. I've always had all these big dreams and hopes and, and things that I want to do. And there was a point in my life where I was kind of just having to do what I had to do to make ends meet. And at one point, I was working three jobs and going to school. And I felt like this this is horrible. <laughs> this, is, this isn't the life that I want for me. And um, I wrote this song one night after I came home from a shift at a restaurant and I had to clean up a, a urine-soaked bathroom. And I remember that feeling as I was doing that, like, uh, man, I am, I am down. I am down and out. And uh, uh, this was kind of just me um, feeling sorry for myself and, and writing about that period in my life. Remember early morning everywhere Waking up to the sound of traffic And the smell of people in their work clothes Though they've all got their own destination Every one of them are going to the same place Running at their own and hating every minute from the time that they got in it But it's too late to quit now And that's how they get you 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 Give up on your dreams and become a bill payer while tearing you to pieces layer by layer till you can't understand how you ever did without it and you gotta see a doctor just to tell them all about it and all you get are temporary solutions to add to the pollutions that are filling up your mind and you wish you had the time to find a way to kill the hate but now you Gotta get to work or else you're gonna be late And that's how they get you 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 That's how they got me too That's how they gon' get you that's how they get you That's how they get you You gotta be a certain kind of hero To go from zero to a steady 65 Just to prove that you're alive To the people that surround you To maintain the illusion 
that they know anything about you And it's a shame that you're playing their game From the moment they call your name With an unspoken kind of authority Demanding priority But they can't win unless you let them in And that's how they get you 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 That's how they got me too That's how they gon' get you That's how they get you That's how they get you This one's called Rearview Mirror. I wrote it about a very, 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 very good friend of mine who passed away about a year ago. We used to work together and we used to make these goofy videos and put them online that we thought were hilarious. <laughs> and we had all these plans and things that we wanted to do. We always thought that it was going to become something. And we had so many ideas and, and things that we wanted to record. And there was a point where I had to take another job because of finances. I needed more hours, more pay. And I left. And things were never quite the same. We still definitely kept in touch, but it was it was not like it used to be. And he had had cancer for the longest time. But... Uh, not too, too long after I left, it got worse and worse. And I I was convinced that he was going to bounce back. I'd seen him do it a few times, and he didn't this time. And I have a lot of regrets. <laughs> I think we all do when stuff like this happens and I often happen to drive down the road where we used to work together and I always stare at the building and it's so surreal and so strange to see that place and think of all the jokes and conversations and then as I pass it, I always stare at it in the rearview mirror until it's long out of sight. And I just remember my friend. And that's what this song is about.
making you easy for me to find facing the The song is called You Can't Take the Props Home. I wrote it when I was working at a place where everybody was so obsessed with what they drove and what they wore and how much they made. And I hated it because everyone was so concerned with things that really don't matter. They're not going to take any of that stuff with them when we're all done with this place. And the way that they looked at life and their day to day was just really hard to be around. <laughs> They're getting ready for the big school play For the applause and the stage and the lights Yeah, it gets some high They all get the chance to be somebody else for a little while The way we all wish that we could do sometimes They leave the classroom early and they act so good Talk about everyone within about a quarter mile And when they take to the stage All the rage of the pages and the script Will steal the show And it's too bad that by now They still don't know That you can't take the props home Or the wardrobe changes that's strange is that nobody knows just how dangerous living for the opening of that curtain can be revealing all for the whole world to see where are you gonna run to when it's closing night and the lights go down everybody's putting on their makeup they're getting ready for their photo ops And by the time that they wake up to the situation They're gonna be running from the cops And the life that they've been chasing Anticipating dream after dream But the truth of the matter is reality is hard And reality is cold And I've been told that you can't take the props home the wardrobe changes And the thing that's strange is That nobody knows just how dangerous Living for the opening of that curtain can be Revealing all for the whole world to see And where you gonna run to When it's close at night and the lights go down Traffic in the parking lot Nobody wants to get an autograph You brought your pen and paper But you won't take it out Cause you know everybody will laugh at you And your presumption That you try to pull off as gumption Now you're gonna feel the burn Cause you gave all you had With the promise of no Turning, now you're learning that you can't take the props home 
All the wardrobe changes And the thing that's strange is that nobody knows just how dangerous living for the opening of that curtain can be